Now to our continuing coverage over the debate about health care reform legislation. The White House is accusing health care reform opponents of a propaganda campaign and asking the public for help in combating it. But correspondent Molly Henneberg reports to some this outreach smacks of Big Brother. We report, you decide. It's difficult, the White House says on its blog at whitehouse.gov, to get a handle on, quote, rumors and, quote, disinformation about health care reform. So the White House makes this request, quote, since we can't keep track of all of them here at the White House, we're asking for your help. If you get an email or see something on the web about health insurance reform that seems fishy, send it to flag at whitehouse.gov. Conservatives in Congress and on the radio jumped all over that, saying the White House is acting Orwellian. If you get an email from your neighbor and you're not, it doesn't sound right, send it to the White House. You know, people I think all across America are going to say, is this 1984? What's happening here? Is Big Brother watching? They're looking for tattletales. They're looking for snitches. They're looking for informants. Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn sent a letter to President Obama saying, quote, I am not aware of any precedent for a president asking American citizens to report their fellow citizens to the White House for pure political speech that is deemed fishy and demanding to know, quote, what action do you intend to take against citizens who have been reported for engaging in fishy speech? Dozens of citizens have been speaking out recently at town hall events on health care, including this one yesterday in Wisconsin. Democratic Congressman Steve Kagan got an earful. The White House and congressional Democrats say this is an orchestrated or, quote, manufactured effort by Republicans and special interest groups. There are groups that are... Uh, uh, have spread out people across the country to go to these things uh, and to specifically uh, generate uh, videos that can be posted on internet sites. It disrupts the message. The, the, the story becomes the disruption, not the message. In fact, the Democratic Party has put out a new web ad called, quote, Enough of the Mob. This mob activity is straight from the playbook of high-level Republican political operatives. They have no plan for moving our country forward, so they've called out the mob. Trevor Francis with the Republican National Committee disputes that and says these are Americans with legitimate concerns. People are, are doing this on their own volition. Top Senate Democrat Harry Reid says members of Congress will continue to press for reform, quote, in spite of the loud, shrill voices trying to interrupt town hall meetings. Republicans say lawmakers have a responsibility to listen to constituents and their concerns. Brett? Okay, Molly, thank you.